So let's say you're new to Helium, but you've been using TTN. This video is for you. So you have a new Helium account. You have your stuff on TTN. You have a couple of applications. Um, each of them have a couple of devices. Uh, I actually have them in two different regions here to show you the example. One's in EU. Um, so if you want to populate them here into the Helium console, we have a CLI tool or CLI tool, which is um, very streamlined for doing this kind of work. Uh, so you do TTN import, you go to the URL to get um, an OAuth code, basically. So we're going to go there, just click on the access code link there, and we're going to copy paste this into the, the CLI tool. Um, it's going to be able to authenticate with the TTN backend this way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and import all of my applications with zero. And I'm going to import all my devices too. Um, and then the extra feature here is, uh, so TTN has this top-down app ID um, way of thinking about things. We don't do that. We use labels instead, which are a little bit more flexible. But what I'm doing here is I'm importing all of the labels, uh, all of the app IDs from TTN as labels in the Helium console. So now when I click refresh, you'll see all of my devices um, and with the, the labels. So now that I have labels uh, for all these devices, I can use the integrations feature on the Helium console, which is pretty similar to the, the one on um, TTN. Um, I'm going to create an endpoint where the uh, device data is going to get posted. Um, so I'm going to call it fake endpoint. And uh, so I did make a mistake. I'm just going to change it to HTTPS. And we're going to go ahead and use that. And uh, I'm going to um, apply this endpoint to a couple of the labels, which correspond to my application IDs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post them to both to this application endpoint, um, to this integration that I just created. And, uh, and there we go.